a drunken spree at the age of 32 years old. Remember the Bible said that the horn would be broken and then four would stand up for it. And true to what God said, according to Alexander the Great, Legacy and Division of the Empire, Wikipedia Encyclopedia, this is what the historians say, ultimately the conflict was settled after the Battle of Ipsus in Phrygia in 301 BC. Alexander's empire was divided for, at first into what? Four major por portions. How much did God say? Four. Exactly what the historians say. So history confirms four, four sections that the Macedonian empire was divided into. According to Daniel, a fourth kingdom would rule the earth strong as iron. And this was the legs of iron. As we peruse the history books, we find that after reigning for 163 years, the majority of the Grecian kingdoms fell to a new, more powerful and ruthless empire in 168 BC. After over 130 years of fierce clashes and decisive victories, the last fragment of the Grecian kingdom was finally conquered when Egypt fell under the control of the Roman Empire in about 38 BC. So the Roman Empire was the legs of iron. And remember in Luke chapter 2 verse 1, the Bible says it came to pass in those days that they went out a degree from Caesar Augustus that what? All the world should be taxed. Now, Caesar's rule, rule what kingdom? What kingdoms do Caesar's rule? Rome. So here the Bible tells us Rome ruled the whole world because they had the authority to tax the whole world. So here the next kingdom would be Rome and according to the history book Caesar Augustus was the first emperor of the Roman Empire who ruled from 27 BC until his death in 14 AD which means we have crossed over from the period before the Christian era into the Christian era with the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire was the, the legs of iron. Rome was in power when Christ was on earth. Remember in the 15th year of the rule of Tiberius Caesar, who was the emperor after this one, that Jesus was baptized. Rome was in power long after Christ ascended in he into heaven. And when the gospel spread among the Gentiles, it was Rome who began mass persecution of early Christianity, which we read in the book of Acts. And so, how accurate is God's word describing the Iron Kingdom which overthrew the Greeks? The fourth kingdom shall be what? Strong as iron. And the Roman army was known for its iron armor and weapons. The Roman army was virtually invincible and the only way Rome, Roman armies generally lost a battle is by tactical error, but not because their weapons were inferior. Roman Empire's dominion lasted over 500 years, longer than any previous one, and the world feared the military might of Rome. And secondly, we are told that this kingdom would not be overthrown. It says, we asked us saw as the feet and toes part of potter's clay and part of iron the kingdom shall be divided rome was not conquered it was divided and so in the first year of the corolla king belshazzar 5, 553 bc daniel had a vision that told him about rome let's read daniel chapter 7 verses 1 to 7. Daniel chapter 7, verse 1 to 7. The Bible says, In the first year of Belshazzar, king of Babylon, Daniel had a dream and visions of his head upon his bed. Then he wrote the dream and told the sum of the matters. Daniel spake and said, I saw in my vision by night, and behold, the four winds of the heavens strove upon the great sea, and four great beasts came up from the sea, diverse one from another, the first was like a lion and had eagle's wings. I beheld till the wings thereof were plucked. Verse 5. And behold, another beast, a second like to a bear, and it raised up itself on one side. Verse 6. 
And after this I beheld and lo another like a leopard which had upon the back of it four wings of a fowl. Verse 7, And I saw in the night visions, and behold, a fourth beast, dreadful and terrible, and strong exceeding, and it had great iron teeth, it devoured and break in pieces, and stamped the residue with the feet of it, and it was diverse, different from all the other beasts that were before it, and it had ten horns. So in the, in the vision, the, the angel explained to Daniel that the fourth beast shall be the, the fourth kingdom upon the earth. So once again, we have four kingdoms which would rule the world. Nebuchadnezzar's dream and Daniel's dream of the ram and the he-goat, the first three kingdoms, Babylon, Medo persia and Greece. Babylon in, this, in Daniel 7 was represented by the lion. The kingdom of Medo persia was represented by the bear because you saw the bear was raised up on one side. Remember, the Persians were stronger than the Medes, so that's why the bear was higher on one side. And remember that the ram had one horn higher to symbolize also Medo persia The leopard was Greece. The four heads of the leopards were the four divisions that the Macedonian Empire, as we saw, divided after Alexander died. And the fourth kingdom, the beast with the iron teeth, the fourth kingdom, the legs of iron, the fourth kingdom had ten horns, the fourth kingdom in Nebuchadnezzar's dream had ten toes. And the ten horns, as it says, are ten kings that shall arise. The iron legs of the metal man terminated in feet and toes, and so the toes were representing these ten kings. The ten divisions that the Roman Empire divided into during the period of 351 to 483 AD. These are the ten divisions. In Western Europe, the, Rome, the kingdom of Rome divided into the Ostrogoths, the Heruli, the Vandals, then the Visigoths, which we now call Spain, the Franks, which we now call France, the Suevi, which we now call Portugal, the Alamanni, which we now call Germany, the Anglo-Saxons, which we now call England, the Lombards, which we now call in Italy, and the Burgundians, which we call Switzerland. The Ostrogoths, Hiruli, and Vandals were all defeated and exterminated by the year 538 AD. Now let us consider a few points before we proceed. According to the World Book Multimedia Encyclopedia, during the 300s BC, the Romans came into increasing contact with Greek ideas. They then, be they then began to worship Greek gods and goddesses. They gave them Roman names and built temples and shrines in their honor. So now we see again Rome adopting the religion of Greece, who had adopted the religion of Medo-Persia, who had adopted the religion of Babylon. So we understand that in Faith of Our Fathers, by um, this, this is a Roman Catholic um, theologian, Cardinal Gibbons, he said the penetration of the religion of Babylon became so general and well known that Rome was called the New Babylon. So, let me ask a question. When you go and take your picture for the ID card, what part of your body do they photograph? Your head. Because it's your head you are identified by. Now, who was the head on the image that Nebuchadnezzar dreamed? Babylon. So which means the entire image is Babylon because you are known by your head. The entire image was Babylon. And we see right down into the feet, it was still Babylon. Even though they changed the names of the gods and they changed the names of the practices and all of that, it was still Babylon. That's something important that we need to un understand. Though the kings and the rulers and the empires changed, 
the statue's head was still Babylon. When the, when the empire changed from um, 